Hello, I'm Fiona Howarth, the Associate Priest at St Peter Mancroft. This is one of a short series of films about different ways of praying. Today I'm looking at prayer and poetry. Poetry is like Marmite, loved or hated, depending on early exposure to it. The poet Michael Rosen has railed against the way poetry is taught in schools, which insists that there is a right way of reading poems, giving definitive answers. Poetry does not lend itself to one authoritative reading. It should be no surprise that the Bible, which does not have one authoritative reading, contains a great deal of poetry, not least in the Psalms and the Prophets. Whilst there is less obvious poetry in the New Testament, the use of parables by Jesus could be described as poetic. Parables are stories which invite our engagement with them. They have no easy or straightforward answers. They are relational rather than dogmatic. Poetry can be used in prayer. As an example, I want to share a poem by Padre Gotuma, an Irish theologian. Narrative Theology, number one. And I said to him, Are there answers to all of this? And he said, the answer is in a story, and the story is being told. And I said, But there is so much pain. And she answered plainly, Pain will happen. Then I said, Will I ever find meaning? And they said, You will find meaning, Where you give meaning. The answer is in a story, and the story isn't finished. The poem opens all sorts of questions for me. Who are he and she? Could they be God, perhaps Jesus and the Holy Spirit? What is the story, if not a life? How do we discover meaning but by living? There are no right answers, but reflecting on this poem offers new ways of thinking about my faith and finding meaning. To pray with a poem, begin by stilling yourself and becoming aware of God's presence with you. Read the poem once, slowly and silently. Pause, and then read it again, this time out loud. Then read the poem again savouring the words and phrases, the taste and feel of them. Ask, what image comes to mind as I read this poem? How does it make me feel? Does it add to my understanding of myself, of others, of the world? How do I respond? Read the poem aloud again, this time as a prayer. Wait silently and see if God responds to you. End by giving thanks. Loving God, we thank you for the invitation to relationship, to the openness of play and encounter. Help us to find you in the joy of words and silences. Amen.